My name is Ali Al Burji. I am executive Arabic chef for Ayamna. The very important for my kitchen or for me and for my team how we cook with passion, how we prepare everything and how we serve for the guests. When you come in, you really you feel like you stay at home and uh, your mom food on the table. Uh, I like to bring, you know, everything, all the experience from Lebanon, from Beirut, from Zahli. The guest one is coming to me, he feel like he stay in Beirut, not in uh, another country. I want every guest to experience traditional Arabic feast. My name is Zahra. I have a blog called Cooking with Zahra. Today I'm here to meet Chef Ali at Ayamna restaurant in Atlantis the Palm. So he is someone that's very passionate and someone that's very relatable because food has no boundaries and food brings people together. For me, food is my art, it's my therapy, and it's my way of connecting with people. Today we learned how to make uh, a kibbe. He calls it kibbe mabrume. Hi, Chef Ali, thanks for having me today. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Ayamna. Thanks. I'm happy to have you here. So what kind of restaurant is it? Lebanese cuisine, modern and traditional uh, food. So the presentation is modern. The recipe, my mom and my uh, grandmom ah. and everything. Nice, I like that. Beautiful, look at the colors. It all comes down to the food. If the food is good, then the experience will be memorable. Everything will be fine. Let's go, I will tell you how we'll do the kibbe, oh, my way. Your way, I can't yeah. wait. Ah, thank you. So what are we making? Uh, today we'll do uh, kibbe mabrumi. How much onion you have in here? Around 150 grams. Okay. The lamb, fresh lamb I also as well. I see the lamb has no yeah. fat. No fat as well. Very good. The burgol here, very nice. And you've soaked it already? I soaked it already in the okay. water. And you soak it for how long? Uh, for 10 minutes more. I have the brown also as well. But I like how you're using a combination of both. I have the lemon. And, and you use the lemon zest? Yes, lemon zest. Okay, and, and orange. the orange zest. I have the mardakush here, cinnamon powder, cumin, black pepper, sweet pepper, white pepper, salt, fresh meat. Now we showed you already the ingredients and now we need to combine everything uh, together. So now you mix everything together? Now we'll mix like that. Yep. We'll go now for stuffing for the kibbe dough. Super. We have the onion, also lamb with little bit fat, sweet pepper, salt, okay. white pepper, yep. cinnamon powder, yes. vegetable oil, little bit of ghee. I have uh, pomegranate molasses, sumac powder, pistachio, one last. Fried uh, or bake uh, pine nuts. We go now. We'll so I let me, I carry this. Yeah. Here we go. All Thank right. You. you lead the way. Now we'll put in the machine. Okay. So turn on the machine. I put a little bit of ice. Okay. To mix this one properly. Okay. So how long do you usually mix it for? You mix it for five minutes. Oh, the texture is very nice. Yeah. It's got a nice fluffy texture. And so now this will go into the chiller for about an hour. So now we're preparing the stuffing for Correct. the kibbe. And so you have vegetable oil. Yeah. And you've uh, got the onions chopped. Now later on, uh, we'll put uh, the meat. meat. Okay. And after we'll put the spice and everything. Okay. So I had a question. What made you decide to become a chef? Uh, really, my parents decided to. Because, you know, I love the food. She tell my dad, Ali, I feel like he want to be chef. So happy, like, you know, someone give for me gift. I put the meat. Okay. I bring the whisk and oh, I do like that. That's a smart idea. More, little bit uh, of ghee also as well. Do, do spices now or uh, not yet? Spice one, I see the one already the color of uh, meat. Uh, ah, so the meat needs to be cooked. Yeah. Okay. It smells beautiful yeah. already. Yeah. Now I want to put in the strainer. So you take the excess fat? Yes. Now the kibbe already done. But why did you spray the water? Spray the water to not uh, stuck so in that. It doesn't stick. Yeah. Do it this way like that. One you can see very nice. The pistachio. Pistachio. Okay. A little bit some mac. Some some mac. Pine seeds. The pomegranate molasses. Mix a little bit like that. Okay. I put here. Roll it. Okay. This way. Oh, that's an interesting way. Yeah. Put the the ghee on top. Ghee on the top. So you just slide it through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
brazos para esa forma grande de las uh -huh. Oh, that looks gorgeous. One. And you can see all the colors yeah. of the nuts and Correct. the pistachio. This looks like dessert, chef. This yeah. doesn't look like a, a savory dish. This one. Mm. That's nice. Nice and very soft and not mm. Mm, very, very good. soft. That's true. I can eat all now. Me too. <laughs> Tell me, Chef, what's your fondest memory growing up about food? Everything, every day, everything, everything, from bread to, to, to grill. The presentation of the food is amazing. I mean, Thank they you. always say you eat with your eyes. You. I've eaten, I'm full. I'm used to the kibbeh either as little uh, balls or, you know, the traditional way where they put it on a kibbe tray. Kibbeh yeah. right. What inspired you to make it this way? Kibbe very famous and everyone likes kibbe. Yeah. And I want to do something special. You know, I, I can taste the orange zest and I love the nuts. I love all the nuts that you put into it because it gives it a lot of nice flavor. I couldn't have had a much more fantastic time than I've had and I'm so pleased to have had the chance to learn how to make kibbe mabrume. It's amazing. Thank you. It's beautiful. I want you to try now uh, the shims kunafa. Mm -hmm. Try my hummus, please. I am going to, I'm going to try it all.